Okay, here's the uh, one of the prototypes. Uh, see the back side has quite a bit of wiring. I'm going to be covering this with a black uh, paper cardboard covering just to keep it uh, fingers off of it. So we have the four digit seven segment display. We have the pick, a couple of supporting chips. Uh, we have the built-in sensors, we have an external sensor block. Uh, we have a regulator. This button is to reset the pick to its default values, which are programmed into it. Uh, in, in the case currently, it's five centimeters uh, and a 10 second timeout to sleep. So there's no on off switch on this device. Uh, it will just go to sleep after the timeout period and draw um, less than 100 microamps. Very small amount. Last months on a battery. Additionally, we have uh, this is the connector for the battery. We have five LEDs over here. Top one is the heartbeat LED, which just flashes uh, once every second uh, to show operation. Then we have three blue mode LEDs. The top LED indicates speed. The middle LED indicates uh, elapsed time between triggers between these sensors. Uh, and the bottom LED indicates uh, a select mode for internal or external sensors. Uh, both LEDs lighting will uh, indicate the uh, current centimeter setting so that's the distance between these two sensors the red led on the bottom is for um, showing external internal selection and uh, with the mode switch and the change switch you can uh, toggle that so this is the mode switch that lets you toggle between the different modes and some of the modes have parameters that you can change like sleep time uh, the centimeter distance setting and selecting internal and external sensors. So when that mode is up, you can change that setting by just using the change button over here on the right. So let's power it up. When you first power it up, first time it'll just display one, two, three, four, decimal point in the middle. This is just uh, default built-in program settings. So if you press the mode switch, you can cycle between the modes. So this would be the uh, elapsed time. This would be the centimeters between the sensor. And in this mode, you can change it by pushing the change button. So you can hold it down to go through a little faster. So the bottom, LED, uh, bottom blue LED indicates the internal external. So again, you can change that by just pressing the button. This is now external mode. Press it again, back in internal. No LEDs lit indicate the sleep, timeout sleep. Uh, in this case, it's 10 seconds. Uh, you can change that again from the using the change button here. So to trigger, let an object fall between it like that. You can get uh, like an eraser or something and just drop it in front like that and you'll get a reading. So that's the speed in centimeters per second. They've changed mode to the middle LED that indicates elapsed time. So uh, depending on where the decimal point is, will tell you what, uh, what the resolution is. So with the decimal point over here on the third place, this indicates milliseconds. So this, in this case, is 65.9 milliseconds lap time. You see the display keep dropping out. This the timeout. That's it's got a 10 second timeout. Just push the mode the uh, mode button. You'll get that back. Uh, we can change that it's by going for no LED. So it's 10 seconds currently. So we can just hold this down and make it some longer time for this demonstration. 
when it's in sleep, it draws very little power, uh, so there's no power switch. So currently, now it's set to, to 61 seconds, so a little over a minute. Uh, we'll switch cameras now and go to the overhead. So you can see this one over here. We just let this one set up here. This one I have some external sensors set up on it. So we'll power it up. This is a factory right now. So now the first thing we'll do is change the timeout. Uh, note that it will not go to sleep when you're changing, when you're pushing any button, or if you have triggered a uh, timing session with the first sensor. So start sensor is over on the left, end sensor is over on the right. So I'll just hold these here, but th these could be up to 100 centimeters apart. Uh, you would set your distance here with the two blue LEDs lit. That's the distance between the centimeters, uh, between the sensors. So if we increase this, so we'll make this, we'll make this say 50 centimeters. So now the these two sensors should be 50 centimeters apart, but since they aren't, it's going to show a really fast, <laughs> a really fast measurement. So to switch over to the external sensors, just go to the bottom LED lit, bottom blue LED, make the change. See the red LED is now lit. We have a one that indicates that the external sensors are now enabled. So if we trigger them, so these are set for 50 centimeters apart. You can see the speed's really high, 2,551 centimeters a second. That's really fast. <laughs> uh, elapsed time, so we go to the next mode, is 19.6 milliseconds. So if we were to count a second in between them, so we'll trigger it again, 1,001. It's pretty close. So that's 34 centimeters a second. So let's 1,001. 1,001. There we go. 1,001. So I'm getting closer. 1,001. So if I were able to actually trigger those one second apart, <laughs> we would get exactly 50. I'm able to get it close. That's pretty close. Uh, so it indicates a, a speed of 51 centimeters a second. And if we look at the elapsed time, it's almost a second, 986.1 milliseconds. Uh, so that's basic operation.